Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's ADD. Oh, hi, welcome to Sewing Your Studios. I am Joe. I can't imagine anyone new is gonna wanna watch this because it's just like a little update what I've been up to, where I have been, things to come, life and such but hi to everyone all the same. We're doing another little cozy window side chat because I said last week I was gonna have a studio vlog today and I will not have that up. And I basically never ended up doing the thing that I said I was gonna do where I was gonna go to every other week because I felt some like burnout coming on and um, weirdly enough, that didn't help it. I am in fact taking next week away from posting a video. That studio vlog I keep threatening will be the week after, that that last Friday in March, I believe. It'll be like the 29th, the 29th. I have an event tomorrow I'm doing, and if there's any updates to give about that, I will share in that vlog if you're interested. I'm doing a pop anime con down at Mill Number no. 5 in Lowell, Massachusetts, starting at noon tomorrow. I haven't been in that kind of setting, like a Comic-Con type space in six months, and I don't know, I'm feeling not weird about it. It's gonna be fine, I'm not, scared of it. I just don't know what to expect. And part of me is second guessing if I'm gonna be a good fit. Obviously like I applied for the market and they accepted me. So they seem to think I'll be a good fit. They were actually trying to get me in at one of the ones they did last year. Cause I think they do it twice a year. I should take that as an indicator like it's gonna be fine, but I, I've just had difficult couple weeks, I guess. Like the video I put up last week, I think it was still February when I filmed that. I'm glad everyone enjoyed the like history of Sewing Nerd Studios and me running a small business. And you would think looking back on things and acknowledging that I've been keeping this going for a decade, all of the reflecting I was doing, I'd be in a better headspace, but I, I don't know, March is always really overwhelming for me. Every person's birthday under the sun, including mine. St. Patrick's Day is like a family holiday because shocking that a New Englander would be of Irish heritage. <laughs> and something that didn't used to happen, but has started happening is uh, I get really bad seasonal allergies. And because winter lasts like six weeks now, that will kick off throughout March now, the past couple years it's been really bad and it's not just the annoyance of the congestion. I don't know if you can like hear it in my voice, but it's also just, I feel so run down and I feel lazy and like, I'm just not doing enough. I don't need to get choked up talking about this. I've been very frustrated with myself the past couple weeks, but like, it's not like me having allergies is a failure of my morals. <laughs> I was hoping to be doing more and I think there's a combination of things. The way I was feeling a lot of last week, I way overworked myself for other people, which that's guaranteed pay, where with my own business, that's a lot more in flux for the most part, more on that later. So I couldn't say no to that, and especially this time of year. This is the part of the year where I pay ahead for all of my tables. You know, I have my Granicon table, I have a free comic book day table. I've paid for the entire season, like seven different events, including a three day market up in Concord, New Hampshire. Things like the event I'm doing tomorrow, and then I'm doing another mill number no. five event on the 30th. That one I'm looking forward to, and I, I have an ambitious list I wanna work on for that because it's fiber and printmaking. Could that not be a better marriage of my interests is like lino block printing, you know, doing patches, whatever with those designs, but also like my favorite thing I've been working on and slowly introducing into my, my world of sewing is making bags with fabric I have printed with my own design. Just to give a little sneak peek, I spent multiple days when I thought I had COVID or the flu or RSV or like, I, I didn't know what was happening with me. I just felt absolutely awful for days. And then a checkup with my doctor on top of, I don't even know how many COVID tests, it, it's my allergies kicking in. It, Cause I felt like this for weeks now and it sucks, but at least it's not anything that like I can give to somebody else. You know what I mean? So that has made it hard to do anything. And then why I'm currently feeling extra deflated today is because I spent so much of this past week making a whole new batch of jewelry with these new designs that I've been so excited about. You know, I, I was sick, but bored because I, I couldn't do 
much physically, but I had my laptop and that doubles as like a drawing tablet. So I was, I was just doodling little guys. And I'm so happy with like my little spooky boys and this batch of cryptids and the updated jackalope. So, so happy with like this whole collection and kind of honing in on making it more my style. Trusting my artistic instincts, cause that's something I don't usually give myself space for, but I'm practicing. We're trying. I was thinking probably don't need to focus on any more bags. I have so much inventory and I wanted cheaper items for the event tomorrow. Cause it's, it's an anime con. It's usually a younger crowd. So I just wanted to like add some more options and I needed to restock some of my jewelry that's been selling well anyway. So started working on that. I was working on so many. I spent three days coloring these charms with like acrylic paint pens. Cause I see people do it. I see people use Posca pens for shrink plastic stuff. And maybe it's just the type of plastic I was using. It was sanded on one side. I thought I'd be in the clear. I've been making charms for so long and all of them were ruined. Every last one that I worked on this whole week, when I went to actually shrink them down and get them ready to get a clear coat, it went really badly. I thought I was well-versed in this type of project so I didn't even think to do like test batches before I spent all that time on it. So I feel a lot of negative feelings about it. And I was finally like working on something and then realizing my whole week was a waste. It was nice calming work to do. Obviously like me sitting and coloring pieces of plastic is not the worst way to spend my time. It was good to just, my brain wasn't functioning particularly high to start with. So that was about what I was capable of, but it all being for naught was um, kind of devastating, but I didn't even have time to like mourn that yesterday because I had to get ready to do a 90s music trivia last night, which went well. There was a couple hiccups because it was my first time doing trivia with an audio round. I'm so thankful that it was a really patient crowd and everyone was being super supportive and everyone still seemed to have a lot of fun even with that hiccup. It just made the game run later than I wanted it to. So I was definitely flustered and like panic sweating a lot of last night. This morning I got up, took a shower. I'm about to have a nice big breakfast, have my coffee, just trying to like take it easy. It's super gloomy out. I'm in my cozy sweater. I got big, thick, fluffy socks on and I'm just trying to let myself breathe. I've had this recurring impulse to do a little mini update video and this will edit together quick. I'm not expecting this to like be the rest of my day kind of thing. Cause often I spend like at least two days editing stuff together. So I really should go to every other week for realsies, but I th there's gotta be some like addictive element to me posting. Cause it's not even like I get flooded with comments or anything, but there is a little bit of like community engagement and then I also definitely check the numbers and like make sure it's performing okay. Uh, it's helpful information, but me watching it like all Friday night and Saturday morning is not helpful for my brain. And they haven't been doing well lately, even though I've been putting a lot more effort into the edit and like it's a lot of fun putting the videos together and I've been enjoying doing the studio vlogs, but I just couldn't get my shit together the past couple weeks. So thank you everybody for being patient and supportive and just lovely. Something I did put together that I had a ton of fun working on is the DJ Bog Troll Birthday Party Mix 2024 90s baby edition. If you would like to go check it out, I have the playlist on Spotify and YouTube up on my Patreon. Everybody that gets any of the physical perk tiers, I literally burned copies of the CD like playable compact discs <laughs> with all these songs on it from my personal CD collection and mailed that out to everybody with a track list. And it's my favorite thing to do every year. It's just a fun excuse to share songs that I love with people that hopefully will enjoy it. I know probably most people I send the CDs out to don't even have a way to play it. It's always just a, a fun project to work on. This is my fifth or sixth year doing it. So thank you everybody for indulging me with that. The physical perk ship has sailed for this month. Obviously like I send something out for mail time perk every single month and then I have a custom shit tier. If I, I feel like I thank Patreon, but I never like get into it. To be fair, I don't 
do live streams or the bonus videos like I always want to and everybody seems okay with it. Listen, the Patreons I subscribe to, I almost never watch the bonus content because I just want to toss a couple bucks at somebody that I just want to keep doing their thing. I appreciate their videos and whatever they're putting out into the world. I want them to be able to keep doing it and if I can, you know, give up some of my Patreon income to to give it to them, it benefits everybody. And like, hey, thank you to everybody over there for continuing to let me do my thing and not caring about a strict schedule and being okay with me taking time when I need it. And uh, I have definitely been super overwhelmed and just not feeling super great past couple weeks. Have lots of fun projects planned, as I always do. Like, I've just come to terms with the fact that there are not enough days in my life to get through all the ideas that I have. So I just gotta pick the ones I'm most excited about. I can't guilt myself over an idea I had that I feel like I should do because it's been sitting around for a while where like strike while the iron is hot, do the thing you have the most momentum for. And then if you wanna do that other idea, you can circle back to it. I'm, I'm trying to be better about that because I will often make a list and like little notes and like text myself stuff that I wanna work on. And then I feel like they're my children I'm not giving enough attention to because I've gone for this like bright shiny thing. But the bright shiny thing is gonna hold my interest more. That's all I'm gonna think about while I'm working on the other stuff. And I'm just not gonna have the same level of motivation. Maybe she's bored with it. Maybe it's ADD. I don't know my dudes. I just wanted to have a little a little chat, let you know where, where I'm at with things. And I think I'll leave it there. I'm gonna go make a nice big honkin' breakfast and go sit with Bert for a little bit. All right, I will see you back here in two Fridays with a studio vlog. <laughs> so help me. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out. All hail the stink bean.